This is really pretty to look at, but also illustrates an important natural phenomenon that school science students need to be able to describe and explain, convection. There are a number of ways you can demonstrate convection in the classroom, but I like this approach because it's really easy to do, doesn't involve any crystals or Bunsen burners or complicated bits of glassware. I'm using this plastic fish tank, but you can use a large beaker just as long as it's tall enough to show the effect convincingly. To contain my water, I'm using these old spice jars simply because they come with these lids which have holes in them. This is a great demonstration to use the predict, observe, explain approach with your students. For example, start off with some cold water and ask them to predict what's going to happen when you place this in the water. Ask them to explain their prediction and then let's see what happens. I'm just giving it a shake to get rid of the air bubble at the top of my container. And you can see it's really not very impressive. For the hot water, I'm just using water out of a kettle. And again, ask your students to predict what's going to happen. This time you can see there's a dramatic difference. You should be seeing the water streaming out of the top of the jar of the hot water and not a lot is happening over there with the cold water. There is one final thing you can do with this demonstration, which is to get some ice and ask your students to predict what will happen when you put some ice in the tank. Hopefully what you can see is that as the water cools, it sinks.